This is from an Instagram um, viewer, writes, I have these deep wrinkles in my neck, but the idea of surgery freaks me out. Is there anything I can do to treat them without going under the knife? Well, people these days are talking about tech neck, right? It's like, you've, it's become the social media age. People are glued to their phones, glued to their electronics. And so what that does, it puts you in flexion. And putting your, take the most beautiful person, beautiful neck like yourself, you go to flexion, you're gonna see some fullness and bulging of the muscles as well as creasing in the neck. And the fact that people are looking at their computer, they're seeing, not only, not only is it creating it, but they're seeing it, they're seeing themselves. So it's become a widespread thing that people and talks, are And we get this about. every day, they come in, I don't like this, and we just go, well, don't do don't, that. Don't do that, <laughs> don't do that, right, right. A newborn will be born with wrinkles in their hand and their neck. It's just, you know, wrinkles are caused by movement, it's not sunlight, it's the reaction to the sunlight. You know, if wrinkles were caused by sunlight, you'd have them all over the tip of your nose. It's, it's just if you want to hang around boring people, you'll have less wrinkles. We get some improvement with those lines in the neck with a facelift, right. but the deeper ones, the lower ones, no. So in certain cases, using a filler, an HA product, probably want to use one of the, the thinner ones because you, it can show, and fractional CO2 laser. Mm -hmm. I think works well on the neck and the decollete line. Sometimes you can split the muscle all the way across and it, uh, it helps with wrinkles in that case, but I think I, I try to tell people not to try to do too Botox. much. Yeah, right, some Botox, Botox, but not to do too much trying to get rid of a problem that may not be able you may, to get rid of it. You may create more problems. Exactly. And so if we talk about preventing wrinkles in the first place, don't squint so much, but if you have good posture, are you going to see fewer wrinkles then? Over time? If you weren't in flexion the whole time, if you were up like this, you'd probably minimize the right. problem. All right, because I tell well, yeah. people all the time, save your backs, save your backs. No one wants to listen. But hey, when it comes to let's, let's have nice, pretty necks, that's another reason to, to sit up straight. Again, if you're gonna if you're gonna use your phone, bring the phone up to you. Don't go down to your oh, phone. Yeah, those, I agree with that. I think that's common sense. Well, that, right? that helps too. Yeah. Like with all neck. wrinkles, Please. if you're if you're a smoker, you're gonna get those smokers right. lines. If you have a tendency to drink, eat, chew, and do that, you're gonna have more lines around the mouth. Yeah. If you're a big squinter, get your eyes. I always checked. feel bad for you surgeons too, because what are you guys doing all the time? You, I mean, nature of your work, it's it's hours. Yeah, hours like this. Does our neck look okay? Yeah. You guys look great. You guys look great.